Sankt Emmeram in Regensburg is the largest lived-in castle in Germany, larger than Buckingham Palace, and the seat of one of the most important noble families in Europe. This is where Gloria von Thurn und Taxis will be receiving her guests to celebrate the performance of opera star Placido Domingo. Star chef Alphonse Schubeck will be in charge of the late night dinner after the concert. The gathering will be made up of friends, noble families, and music legend Quincy Jones. Ich bin I am Gloria von Thorn und Taxis, and I welcome you to St. Emmeram Castle. Regensburg lies by the river Danube in the heart of Bavaria. It's known for its historic old town, its culinary specialties, and St. Emmeram Castle. The living quarters alone at St. Emmeram stretch over 21,000 square meters. It was built in the Middle Ages as a Benedictine monastery and underwent several renovations in the 19th and 20th century when it became the home for the noble family. The castle has over 500 rooms, including a vast library and its own chapel. The grand state rooms are a nod to the vast fortune of the von Thurn and Taxis family, who came to their wealth and position in the 15th century by creating the modern postal service. Today, the family is worth an estimated 1 billion euros. Where are we putting Quincy? Next to me? Next to you. Paul is there. Mm -hmm. Together with her mother Beatrix, Countess von Schönebeck Glachau, and the castle cook Maria Kanzberger, the Countess is arranging the seating order for the dinner. Stop. Domingo, I've put him to me. So next to me, Quincy. And then we've got Maya. We need a great man for Maya. Isn't Henry coming? Yes, Henry. Next to Maya. They can sit there and speak Russian. We need 12 there. 15 persons, 12. 11, 22, 11 on each side. That's right. Done. <laughs> of course, one has to make sure that the more notable guests do not sit at the end of the table. They know nowadays that it's protocol to sit the high-profile guests next to the lady of the house. The further away you are, the more you're in Siberia. That's a problem. Not everyone can sit next to the hostess. Some must go to Siberia. So we thought if we have to put people in Siberia, it might as well be a group of people who won't notice they're in Siberia because they have so much to talk about and will be grateful to talk in their mother tongue. So that's how we've done it. Today, the Countess wants to visit star chef Alphonse Schubeck, go through tomorrow's menu, and get a few herbs from his shop in Regensburg. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, that's something. We should do that together, just the two of us. We'll do it at yours. In a circus tent, we'll perform. The Munich chef has been interested in herbs for many years, their history, their effects, their healing qualities. His spice mixes are more than just a good business idea. It is his aim to combine the effects of individual herbs so they don't only taste good, but also stave off illnesses. 
Delicious. That's mainly cardamom and some cinnamon and allspice, nutmeg and vanilla. Cardamom is a spice that's very important for the stomach. It's good for heartburn. Is that for dessert? We're making iced coffee for the dessert. Oh, wonderful. It will be like a parfait, a small cappuccino. And we'll put that in and on top of the cream we'll sprinkle some cardamom. When Gloria needs me, I'm there. That's how it is. I don't care where it is in the world. The cooking will happen anywhere, even if it's on the highest peak. I don't care. We'll find something, make a little campfire. That's how it works. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Doris, look, it's Schubeck's menu. How interesting. Look, vanilla chili vegetables. Coffee spice, Arabic. People like spicy nowadays. Food needs a little kick. An interesting menu. I'm used to the Bavarian cuisine. More like cooking, but interesting. I've got the spices, but we've changed the menu. Really? We quite rightly decided it would be too late in the evening for meat. So we'll do truffle pasta. And in between, a little earlier in the evening, it would be great if you could make a small salad for Domingo. With the goat's cheese and a little of that wonderful tomato paste that lady there makes. Great. Brilliant, we'll do it. Half an hour from Regensburg lies tomato heaven. Irina and Ulrich Zacharias grow over 900 types of tomato here. Irina's tomato sauces, chutneys and marmalades are known all over the region. Her speciality, a fruit paste made of sweet and sour tomatoes with a little sugar and lemon verbena leaves. Irina knows all about the history of the tomato and discovered that there was a time when only men were allowed to eat them. The tomato was considered a dangerous fruit, that it would awaken forbidden passion in women. It was also called the love apple, and women were not allowed to awaken too much of their desire. Nowadays, we are, luckily. <laughs> Castle chef Maria likes to take a break from the hustle and bustle when she comes to Irina's. It's easier to portion when it's firmer, but now, when it's warm, it's good too. Mm. 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 Delicious. <laughs> A grandstand has been erected in the castle courtyard for Placido Domingo's performance. All 3,200 tickets for his only concert in Germany are sold out. Every year, famous artists and thousands of guests come to the castle's festival. That means a lot of work for the state's employees. The Countess likes to make sure all is in order. The festival is an important source of income. The castle upkeep costs several million a year. Such a large castle needs to be maintained throughout the year on the inside and out. You can imagine what it's like to upkeep such a large castle. At home, something always needs to be done. When it's changing a light bulb, here, 50 light bulbs need to be changed. Such a large castle was not built for just one family, but it was a monastery and then the seat of the state's chief commissioner, and it was a large court 
And today, the court, I'd say it's our audience. And it's a large audience that wants to walk along the paths and see the sites that are usually closed off. In the castle itself, only the invited dinner party shall dine. For the audience outside, there's catering. On the day of the dinner, work starts at six. The Countess has said the table decoration is to be understated and elegant. The book in the middle. Line in the middle. No, 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 no. To me, to me. Now we'll lock it on the side so it can't slip. It's usually classic white. Hutschenreuter porcelain. Cut crystal, silver cutlery, completely normal. Well, not normal, but how it is. That one to you. Good. A little bit more. That's good. So the water glass, like this, white wine, red wine, and behind that, the champagne. Good. Red wine glass towards you. Good, the next one. Good. That's the family crest on the cutlery. You have to place it the wrong way around to see it. kitchen, Maria Kanzberger is making her popular bruschetta with goat's cheese and Irina's tomato paste. It will be served for Placido Domingo's break. Afterwards, she needs to prepare the kitchen for Alfonso and his team. Maria has been working at the castle for over 30 years, and the festival is one of her favorite times of the year. I'm excited every day, and not just because of Placido Domingo, but there are other famous guests. It's interesting and nice. You get excited. The castle has had many illustrious guests. The Tuan und Taxis are related to many of the European royal houses. Kings, princes, and even Empress Sisi attended the plentiful festivals here. The castle has been witness to legendary costume parties, where the young countess even caused Mick Jagger to marvel. But since the death of her husband, Count Johannes von Thurn on Taxis in 1990, things have become a little quieter. Gloria von Thurn on Taxis didn't remarry and has been running the St. Emmerhan estate herself ever since. Her three adult children have moved out, and she's often alone in the big castle. One is often alone, but one is seldom lonely. Loneliness is really something hard to deal with, but you can feel that at a party with a thousand people, you can suddenly feel lonely. Loneliness doesn't have that much to do with people. Of course, when one comes here in the winter, let's say it's January, February, it's dark, there's only one light on in the courtyard, then you can think, oh dear, and I've got to go in there alone. But I've gotten used to that too. I'm happy with what I have, and I don't long for something that I don't have. But her favorite times are when the castle is filled with life. 
And it's only natural for her to make sure herself that things go well during the festival, like ensuring everything is as it should be in Placido Domingo's dressing room. Placido Domingo, Placido Domingo is the grand doyen of classical singing. It's like receiving a president of a very important large country. For the dinner, Alphonse Schubeck has three assistants and one of his chefs, Joe Gasser, at the ready. For tonight's menu, the spices are taking center stage. I've always been interested in spices, always, even 30 years ago. But it wasn't the right time. When I then went to Munich, I always thought, now you'll employ a doctor, a medicine man who does nothing other than scientific research into what spices and what foods go well with each other. And that's how I try to prepare my dishes now, so the vitamins and nutrients are kept, and that the fats are added in the last second, the good fats. The appetizer. Iced beef steak tomato with burrata and a tomato herb jus with garlic, rosemary and licorice. We put it in at the bottom, then the sauce comes through more, it's fresher. This is fresher. The Countess is laid back when it comes to styling. She's taking the moment to spend time with her daughter Elizabeth who has come from New York for the festival. Now it's good. It's got good volume. Just a comb through and I'm done. In Maria's castle kitchen, exotic, rather un-Bavarian ingredients are being prepared. The fried mango slices will be the basis for the Caribbean summer salad with shrimp which will make up the second course. The traditional chef sees the exotic invasion of her kitchen with curiosity and an open mind. We don't have that. No, that's Thai asparagus. You have the right build, the right fit for the role of castle chef. An all-rounder, how do you say, not just a housekeeper, but someone that's a good spirit for everything. And she can even cook. Just on the side, it's what she does, it's good. That's true on the side. Do you cook every day? Yes, when she's there. A hidden passion. How I love you with a love through. How can clean to all rambling roads? How I love you with a love through. Walking clean to oh rambling roads. Quincy Jones met Gloria in the 80s at one of her wild party nights in New York. The two still like to celebrate together even if there's something a little more serious on the program, like Placido Domingo. Alphonse adds a mixture of curcuma, cumin, cardamom, chili, ginger and onion to the summer vegetables.
The second course we serve two at the same time. Then we lay out new cutlery. Then we bring in the main course. Evening. Hi, I want to help. Now you've already done enough for today. Was it good? Yes, it was great. Well, you can just try something. Maria, did you learn something? He played the guitar. It was great. Should we sing a bit? No, not today. <laughs> OK, then I'll sing you a song. OK, that sounds good. It's fitting. You need your song too. Due to the concert, it's a late dinner. By the time of the second course, it's already after midnight. But Alphonse and his team are completely focused. You don't do this alone. There's a lot of hands at all the stages making sure it all tastes good. You have to motivate a lot of people. Come on, boys, get on with it, get to work. It all matters every day, something new. I don't care what happened yesterday. What's important for me is today and tomorrow. The third course quickly follows the second. Truffle pasta with a lot of chili. The guests have a healthy appetite, and it's time for dessert. Iced coffee with cream, and Arabic spice mixture with cardamom. 
Sir, stop beating, otherwise it'll turn into butter. Thank you.